Missionary Survival. Today we're going to be making one of the most important things in the woods, cutting tools. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Nice little bundle of cutting tools right there. Still have got some larger unprocessed rocks on the outside. And a bunch of little blades on the inside. Lots of little crazy sharp shards left over. Take some of those. Stuff that's left over on the bottom here. These can be used for really fine work. I mean the edge on that right there, that front, look at that. I can actually see through it, so it's very, very, very thin. Okay, so finding cutting tools in the woods really just starts with understanding the materials in your area. It just takes, you know, experience and, um, you know, just kind of time honed skills. Um, you need to practice and experiment with the stones in your area. Now it's some quartz right here. I mean, it's all around me. And I know that in my area, quartz breaks to very sharp edges. So this is my go-to cutting tool stone right here. So next you want to find is an anvil so you can break the rocks easily. I always look for a stone that's naturally buried in the earth like this, but I test it by moving it a little bit. See how this has some play in it? I'm gonna skip that one. So you don't want that. You don't want it to have any play in it because um, that absorbs some of the energy. You know, you want the shock waves to explode into the stone when you take your hammer stone and you you hit the, the piece that you you know that you want to fracture. So I really want to find a piece of stone that's really deeply embedded and find um, a stone possibly with a flat surface if I can as well because then that makes it easier to break the stone when I put it on top because if it's slanted then the blow is, is, a, is a glancing blow you know if it's at an angle and when the stone comes down it hits it it's gonna end up shooting off and and instead of staying in one, one spot and exploding out now this would be a, a really good anvil right here obviously it doesn't have any play in it at all right large stone this will work great alright so this stone right here is one that I just used and I just fractured a bunch of stone on it and I initially started off with this hammer stone it's a good hammer stone you can see where it had impact 
It also helps, um, it's not necessary, but it does help a little if the stone has some flatter areas you can use, which is why I use this face. I use this a few times, but it has an angle on it. So this way, if it's flat, when it hits a stone, it lands flat. So it's not like a glancing, bouncing blow. It's this way it hits and crushes down. Real simple. So I did a few with this, but I wanted a little bit of a heavier stone because if it's a lighter stone, you have to start from a higher up um, drop. So you have to either throw it harder down, which I don't really like to do, or you have to drop it from a higher distance. So it just has more momentum when it hits, more follow through. So I went with this larger stone because it's heavier, it has a pretty good flat area at the bottom and allowed me to, I mean it's considerably heavier, it allowed me to drop it about the same distance and break every single stone I wanted to. And again, you know, it's really easy, you just take a stone and again I'm using quartz. You know, your area might be chert, might be obsidian, you know, all sorts of things. Novacolite, tons of different stones that fracture, you know. <clears throat> Jasper, you know. So, um, yeah, you know, you just put it down there and you apply enough force to break the stone. There, nice controlled break. It broke right down the middle, right in half. That's what you want. You want to try to break it so it's not like you throw it so hard that it powderizes the whole stone. Because if you do it hard enough, it will just completely eviscerate the stone. It will just explode into nothing. And obviously that's not usable. You can't use that. So I just easily and cleanly made two cutting tools. I mean, these are very sharp. These very sharp edges. And if I wanted to work further, it's as simple as putting it back down and hitting it again. This time I can put less force because it's a small stone I'm breaking. Right? So I just broke into a ton of different pieces. One, two, three. So, you know, four, a bunch of different pieces. So, basically, all you do is you just keep breaking stone, breaking stone, you know, until you get handfuls of all these sharp edges. Then you can use these flakes to use as cutting tools, to skin game, to make tools, to make bow drill kits, hand drill kits. You can use this to make needles, whatever you have to do, you know? A cutting tool is a cutting tool. So. I like to make little batches like this, you know? You can make arrowheads, whatever you want out of them. This one might make a good arrowhead right here. It already has a basic shape. It's pretty thin. It's pretty flat, too. You know, it doesn't have a, a great curve to it. So, it's the arrow will fly straighter. That's a pretty good one. I might, I might save that one. And this, and, and that's really what, what you tend to do when you find things like this, a flake like this that happens like that. You know, you don't waste it on using it to make a hand drill kit, you know? You use something else that can get the job done, and you, you take that rare special piece, and you put it aside, you know? You put it inside your rucksack, put it inside your pocket, inside your arrowhead pouch, whatever you want to do. So, that's pretty much all there is to it. Very simple. You just have to find a anvil and a hammer stone to break your stone. Alright, so a cutting tool is a cutting tool, you know? Um, one of those flakes is going to have the attributes needed for the job done, whatever it is you, that you need to get done for your cutting tool. You know, whether it be from making friction kits or making feather sticks, doesn't matter, whatever it is, skinning game, you know. You'll find a piece that will have the shape and the attributes that you need, you know. You just have to search through them, and that's why, you know, you want to make so many of them. They're so easy to make, it only takes a few moments, just break a bunch of them up, and it gives you more options to work with when the time comes. Okay, so a common task in the woods is processing up some birch bark, either to scrape it to use with the ferro rod or to, uh, to scrape it just to make tinder for a tinder bundle, whatever the case is. You know, that powder works really well as the first initial uh, tinder inside a, a tinder bundle that makes your coal grow larger. So I have all those pieces just in my cup here. Oh, it'll probably work. It's a good edge right there. Just 
So, stone tools are actually incredibly easy to make and very versatile because a blade like this can be used for scraping or for slicing, whatever the case is. You know, but as you can see, it's scraping it up just fine. Nice little pile there. That'll work perfectly with my fur rod, like so. Alright. Getting incredibly fine curls out of it. You can see right here. So, anyways, got a bunch of curls all around me here. So, you can't make a feather stick. I'd prefer uh, a bigger piece than this. So, I think I'd have to break a few more pieces before I found something a little more ideal for this particular task, but. I found something that will work. I mean, I do have some feathers on there. If I just keep going, I can make them a little bit bigger, make a little bit more. It's definitely more difficult than a metal knife, you know? But it can be done, you know? It can be done. There's some good curls on there. Very good curls. These are actually the best curls when they're really, really small like this because they ignite so easy with the smallest amount of combustion. Alright, so there's my curls. Let's see if I can ignite these with my fur rod. Aha! There we have it. Excellent. So stone car feathers. And they ignited. All right, this has been Mission Native Survival. Thanks for joining me today as we make some cutting tools in the woods. Appreciate your views, your comments, and your support. See you guys in the next one. Take care.